blow. You know what it is? You blow into it. Go. You blow into it? You know what I want to know? Watch this. How does the camera know how much Ready? tape is left in terms of minutes? Right. Watch this. Right? I don't know. How does your camera know how many shots oh. are left on your film? I don't know. It must have a, a little timer there. It must have its own little timer. Earl, do you know? There's something that it, re it reads the, oh. it reads the width of it. Because see, it has to go a certain speed in order to... Uh, We're listening. Right? <laughs> it has the what? I love these. It reads it. It reads it. Each inch of film is encoded with a uh, with a number, and then it reads that and throws it back on the screen. Yeah, like nice <laughs> Professor Eastman Kodak Pupil. <laughs> on, uh, I find it amazing, frankly, the way it knows how much time. But that's okay. I'm easily impressed Whoa. by nothing. Big bubbles. Oh, the bubbles are coming over here. Uh, don't don't get any more spots on my on my thing. <laughs> Earl and I spent 20 yeah, minutes yeah. trying to get the spot off it. Cleaning that thing. And we it's moved the spot the, yeah. to the left now. Oh, oh you like that? Oh, oh, bang that table. Did you bring your camera? No, no we forgot. Have you been using it much? Yeah, we, we need to get film now. We have no more film. That's what <laughs> we have to get film. I never did look in my thing to see if there was that coupon. Oh, I bet there was. Yeah, we because we got ten free tape. I know you told me, and we could really use it now that we're going on this big trip. You know. Well, I'm bringing that thing on that trip. I'll give you. A, I'll give you. A, Where are you tripping? We're going to uh, Alaska. <clears throat> oh yeah. Yeah, we're uh, flying into Seattle. And, uh, Week and a half. If you go to like any Seattle. record store, you can get them when they. Yeah. Oh, we rented a car. We looked at Where? that. Uh -huh. Where? Any place. Any record shop, up, CDs, any of those places. They have them. Yukon, and then into Washington. How are the prices? But I have to tell you, like three ninety nine, two ninety nine, something like that. Before, I mean, I booked the flights. I lost my I uh, adapter. Yeah, no big deal. I'm gonna rent a car in Seattle. I'm gonna drive up and I'm gonna drop it off in Alaska. Little did I know that you can't rent cars in Seattle that are going to Alaska. <laughs> Oh, God, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good <laughs> shot. <laughs> She's a uh, divisionally distracted. I'm not going to worry about it. Is that a good thing? I got it. I got the one behind you. You got to stop, you know, you, can't, you got to leave it off when you're doing it. Yeah, these little dots are all very distracting. So what time did you get up this morning? I was up at the, I guess about 7. Wait, did you take a train into the city? Train to the city and when you back there at the UN at about 12 o'clock. Whoa! You need more juice. Oh, geez. You need more juice. There you go, more juice. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. major bubbles. Where are you going? He's, it's quarter six, right? So, why don't you bring him out here, Peter? Goodbye. He's already eaten half, you know, this whole plate of beans. And I'm like, did you give any of these to Ryan? 
He's like, yeah, so I went in and like scooped them away from Ryan. He hadn't eaten any yet, thank goodness, because the others are always left, left <laughs> to the end, you know? So he hadn't eaten any. And Warren comes in, he looks at him, and I said, those aren't supposed to be here. And he said, well, what do you think they are? And I said, I don't know what they are, but they shouldn't really be in these beans. And he's like, oh, God, I got to go. And he's like running in the bathroom, trying to make himself better. And I said, Warren, but it's okay, they were new. No. You might have waved them so they're no, dead. They're, no matter no. what they are, they're dead. No. She goes, don't worry about them. They're dead. You don't have to do anything. I go, when the aliens are growing in me. I'm not going to sit here. I don't know what the hell these things are. But I'm sure they're like eggs and they're growing in me. And this thing is just going to pop out of my chest. So then he, he, told, he told Ross. And he sent a sample to Ross or something. Yeah. Yeah. Sent a sample this, this, to Ross. This will show you what a, a good attorney can do. <laughs> so Ross has decided that you know he's going to send it out to the lab and get it tested. Okay. So Warren's at the office. You tell the story. I'm at the office and I get this fax from the testing company. From Campbell's. No, it was a testing independent lab. Testing company. Yeah. That my brother got a hold of the letterhead and then he wrote certain things all over it, right? <laughs> Saying, dear Mr. Roth, please seek immediate medical attention. We have found not only has was there um, maggots in there, but we've also found that there's tick larvae, all these <coughs> other things that... Hookworm. It was a power hook gram, a power gram. Ringworm. Parasite. Trichinosis. Trichinosis. <laughs> And, and every other thing that human possibly, right? So I run down to one of my doctors. And oh, and then it says, but, but, but no, 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 but then it says, we, we suspect employee espionage, and we'll give you $100,000 if you keep this all quiet so nobody else finds out about it. So I, I immediately run down to one of the docs in my office, and I said, what do I do? Look at this letter. And she goes, she goes you're going to have to go into the hospital immediately. She's going to have to have biopsies. They could have invaded all your major organs. He goes, it's going to be like a nightmare. This is a nightmare for you. So I'm running for the office like this. I run into my father's office. I go, I got tick larvae. I got ringworm. I got all these things. The animals are growing in me. They're going to die. My like, father well, starts laughing. I go, what's so funny? And he goes, he goes, well, your brother just called, it's a practical joke. I go, I'm not gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. I couldn't talk for like a week. Every time he would call, I'd just start laughing so hard. He's cruel. He's cruel. This is cruel and unusual punishment. It sounds like it. Brothers. He used to have a full head of hair until that incident. <laughs> Right, Daniel. 
Stand up here, stand up. Hey, Aaron, step here. Oh, there's a good one, there's a good one. Oh, oh you want to stand in there? One, get there quicker. One goes in and the other one goes in. That's it. Oh, go for a ride. You can push her. There we go. Oh, there he goes. He's over to the next toilet. Oh, there's a good one. There he goes. He's over to the next toy. There we go. We'll ad lib on this. How do you like that? Hang on. Oh, this could be the ride of your life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brian. Good, good. <laughs> Alright, you're good at giving rides. Hey, Brian. Blue. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. 